I have a mini sequence of movements for the yogis and the athletes alike who are looking to find for the yogis a sequence that you can begin your practice with to mobilize and activate the full body through multiple planes of, of movement while the athletes can incorporate this little sequence into their warm up if they only have just a couple of minutes and want to hit multiple joint segments in multiple planes of motion. So we're going to start in what's called Tadasana, mountain pose standing tall, feet underneath the hips. You're gonna to reach towards the sky, swing your arms back into a chair pose or into this half squat, quarter squat position, quad dominant movement. Then we're gonna reach forward, touching the floor, widen our feet into this wide squat position. Then Cossack, Cossack squat. We're going to extend that leg, feel a big stretch through the adductor uh, group, and then go the opposite way. You can also lift that toe as well. So I'm linking dynamic, movements into a flow here. Then I'm gonna come into an intro. I'm gonna walk my hands forward. And then I'm gonna bring my feet together, bring the foot towards the hand. You can drop the knee as well if this is too much. And then I'm gonna open into a twist. So here we're getting a thoracic rotation here and repeat. I'm gonna swap legs and obviously I'd stay here for, you could just hang out here for like 30 seconds, but for the purpose of the flow, we're just gonna hang out here for five to 10 seconds, and then we're gonna come back. From this position, you can either drop to your knees, I'll give you the first progression, drop to your knees, and just do a simple uh, push-up plus scapular retraction, scapular protraction, reteaching the shoulders, shoulder blades how to move correctly, or you could come onto a plank position and do the same thing a great prep if you're going to do any upper body pushing pulling or upper body movements from here you're either going to lower down on your knees or from a full body position you're going to squeeze your glutes rotate your hands into the floor so look screw your hands into the floor to create torque through your shoulders you're going to lower down elbows come on a 45 degree angle slow eccentric then an isometric hold if you can hold it and then you're going to lower down directly to the floor from here you're going to do a chest lift extend the arms into a y position and then do what's called a black burn. So you're gonna imagine, well, you're gonna put your hands back like you're getting handcuffed as you squeeze your glutes, stabilize the hips into the floor, and you're gonna rotate back. So you can do this in repeated motion, or you could just hold there and just do one rep. You're gonna bring the hands forward, then you're gonna lift yourself up into a bear crawl position. So what we're gonna do now, it's a contralateral movement. So as one hand moves, the opposite leg moves. So it's left hand, right knee, right hand, left knee. So we're walking slowly, trying to keep the knees close to the ground. This is a full body uh, movement that will recruit multiple muscle groups throughout the body. So this is really the, uh, the cup diem, right? This is the most effective movement that we're gonna finish with to not only get activation, but also coordination and focus and attention. Just, it's just a kind of way to physically prepare our minds and to have a present state awareness in the movement because a bear crawl is something you can't do lazily. You don't want those hips tipping side to side. You want to move with stability, purpose, and dynamic motor control, and you can't do that um, if you're not focused and if you're not present into every intricacy of the movement. So that's a flow you can do uh, at the start of a warm-up or at the start of a uh, asana sequence at home, or even if you're a yoga teacher, um, to warm up the body increase body, body and muscle temperature while taking multiple joints through their accessible ranges of motion to adequately prepare yourself for the forthcoming uh, higher intensity movements. And I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for uh, Smitty and Joe. This is part of my CPPS exam. So shout out to those guys. Hope this was a uh, adequate answer to this question.